morning. Today we are up bright and early and we are so excited. We're actually going to go to the Wendover arm of the Grand Union. So come and join us. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I know it's tricky, honey, but do you think you need your arms pretty today? Yes. <laughs> this is the sun. It's a treat. <gasps> oh, Calf's got a t-shirt on. Now, don't get surprised, people, but we are going into a church. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you hoping to see today? Some water. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to see some of the Wendover Arm. And here it is. Oh, it's a beautiful entrance to the Wendover Arm that we approach from our marina by turning left. Or if you're coming out of the locks, you turn right. <laughs> we were lucky enough on the day to catch up with the chairman of the Wendover Arm Trust. Uh, Chris Sargent, you're the chairman of the Wendover Arm Trust. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've achieved so far? Yeah, I mean the trust has been in, in operation since 1989 and the guys have uh, a, a, a achieved a great deal. Personally I've only been involved in the last three and a half years but um, the purpose of the trust was to uh, open the Wendover Arm uh, from Bullbourne down to Wendover, which is six and three quarter miles, back to full navigation. And uh, the canal was built in 1797. Unfortunately, it leaked from the day it opened. And uh, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century, and well, in fact, in uh, 1904, it was closed. And uh, part of it, which leaked badly, was then uh, piped, uh, and the water was uh, taken underground in an 18 inch pipe um, to feed the reservoirs at. Tringford and uh, Willstone and uh, the, the, what the guys are working on at the moment is actually restoring that particular section which is about a mile and a half uh, to uh, reline it make it waterproof so we can put water back in there and uh, then open that section to boats. You can already sail from um, or take a boat from Bullbourne Junction with the Grand Union Canal up as far as uh, uh, Little Tring which is about a mile and a half and the, the present program of work We'll add another mile and a half or a little bit more, bringing it up to three and a half miles of uh, navigable waterway, which is approximately half the total length. And uh, we've um, applied for a, a national lottery grant to help us speed the job up. Um, that's not guaranteed to be successful as yet, although we're very pleased to say that we have passed stage one recently, uh, which leads us to go on to all the bureaucracy of stage two, and uh, when we might get some decisions uh, next year sometime as to whether money may will be forthcoming. If it does, that would be a brilliant help. But um, we appreciate everybody who supports the Trust, uh, both financially and with uh, voluntary efforts, and uh, would ask for you to spread the word to others and get them to support us as well. And so what, um, looking at your website, we're going to put a little link up just as, as, we're, yes. as you're talking. Yes. Um, looking at your website, is there a specific kind of need that you have at the moment? We have a lot of people that love the canals that watch the yes. channel. Well, there is because um, uh, it, it links with the lottery uh, application. And uh, whilst we, um, we may get some help from the lottery to speed things up, we have to find 15% of the money we've claimed ourselves and that is a lot of money in our case and uh, it means that we have to ring fence much of our current finances and we can't touch that until we get a decision from lottery so we need to build up our own coffers to uh, keep the wheels turning in the meantime so that's the current objective now when are we going to get right to Wendover well that's another question altogether yes. that's a much bigger job and involves uh, the raising of some bridges yes. which are not high enough to allow boats to pass at the moment and uh, that's for, for another day but that's the ultimate objective after talking to Chris Sargent we were encouraged to go on the tour unfortunately so were about 
30 other people. Yeah, it was very busy. It was wonderfully vis- busy. Um, the tour is very lovely. And really interesting because they had um, a couple of people who'd been working on the restoration. I don't know how long they've been with the trust, but um, they were basically showing key points along along the towpath that of the work that they've been doing. Glorious day, Wendover Arm. Yes, indeed. Um, so this is the part of the Wendover Arm which is absolutely spectacular. We're going to take you up this, up this little bridge and show you one side to the other side. spectacular and uh, people have been quite passionate about this area for many many years we spoke to the vice or the president we spoke to the chairman yeah but we had a cup of tea with Beryl yeah she was the vice something and um, and really they're looking for extra support and it's such a great cause and it's such a beautiful asset to England and to this part of the world so from here we're going to walk um, along this towpath, um, this not in use towpath for um, boats and see where the actual Wendover Arm can take you to because there is a winding hole. Um, I think there is a one and a half miles of navigable uh, canal. So, um, but it's that way. Oh, but <laughs> where the water is. <laughs> Okay, so so stop me. What are we not going to do then? So we're going to walk down to the current site that they're working on, the right. restoration site, which is that way where there's no water. And another time we're going to take the boat down the um, negative, ne- Navi- navigable, navigable section. So we're, we're back here, honey. Yes. Why is that? Because I wanted to be factually correct. And apologise to me. Well, no. (laughs) So um, behind us is the new section of the Wendover Arm that they've had to rebuild because of um, some big road that got put in. And the dry bit is the rest of the new bit. So in that direction, which is the dry direction. We were standing here the other time. We were going like this. In that direction is the new bit, and that is the old bit. So they're no, building from yeah. that way. Yeah, so they, they've, they're, they're building from down this way. So further up down this dry bit, this dry bit joins up to the navigable bit. Yes. But Jones, I think they originally made it in the 1700s. Yes. And as a feeder, a feeder canal to provide water to the Tring Summit. And but then, they didn't need it for that. And now they're trying to rebuild it. <laughs> Probably not. We're going to walk down there now. Do you think so? Yeah. But I really Come just want a cake and tea. Come on. Come on. After some encouragement, we went a little bit further on down the towpath however my jeans got the better of me <laughs> and so we we turned around and but still enjoyed some beautiful scenery <sighs> how are you enjoying the wendover arm so far i love the wendover arm i i love it what about you I love seeing half my face. Um, <laughs> That's such a camera hug. It's very um, picturesque. It is. Thank yeah. you. So our verdict on the Wendover Arm is that it is glorious and beautiful and well worth a visit. I never ended up getting my cup of tea and my cake because when we did get back to the festivities, Kath bought a magnet that lifts, what, 140 140 pounds in weight 
um, which is helpful for if you drop your windlass in the canal. And we bought it off Beryl, so yay, thanks Beryl, but you um, owe me some lemon drizzle cake. Well, I had some great fun with the big magnet after though. <laughs> thanks for watching.